I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today I'm going to show you my thrift haul from Lucan Optimus Thrift Store. Just a quick note before we get started, the cardigan that I'm wearing was mended with an easy DIY. The link to the video with that DIY is right here at the top of the screen. The other day I popped into my local thrift store to see what was new. It was a quick visit, but next time I hope to take a bit longer browsing through the items. I ended up buying five items in my speed thrift haul. The first item that I found was this twin size sheet for $2. The vintage floral print of this sheet reminds me of the fabric designed by Cabbage and Roses. I'm going to use this fabric to make a matching shoe bag and jewelry case so that I'll travel in style with matching accessories. I found this idea in my homemade vintage book by Christina Strutt of Cabbage and Roses that I bought on sale from bookoutlet.ca. The link to my sewing book haul from Book Outlet is right here at the top of the screen. Christina Strutt says, When traveling with my stylish friends, one of the many things that sets them apart from me and my luggage is that they remember to pack their shoes in neat little shoe bags. Mine are inevitably packed in plastic grocery bags, and that's if I'm clever enough to remember to pack my favorite shoes in the first place. She continued, My idea of sheer luxury would be to own enough shoe bags to decant all my shoes, whether traveling or not. How divine a neat line of shoe bags would be, rather than a random pile stowed in a closet. And to continue my quest for elegant travel, I've made a drawstring jewelry case to match my shoe bags. You could even scale down the jewelry bag to make smaller versions for carrying cosmetics. I'm also going to make a zippered cosmetic case from Homemade Vintage. Christina Strutt says, I love the idea of being able to make cosmetic cases. They are such a perfect gift and I love owning them. I have four of them on the go at the moment, and nothing gives me more pleasure than packing a new one for a special trip. Christina Strutt said, When traveling, I like to keep large items that may leak in one bag in my suitcase and smaller items in a purse-sized bag to be kept with me at all times. I have suffered the loss of a suitcase and know how inconsolable I am without my essential face creams and emergency medicines. You could make a matching bag by scaling up the measurements given for the projects. This bag is made from cotton with a separate waterproof lining, but you could make it in a single layer of sturdy cotton for hairbrushes and combs and other items that won't leak. I rummaged through my trims and laces hat box and found some matching gold trim some gold cord, and some ribbon to make these bags extra pretty. The next item that I bought was this Golden Hands Monthly from February 1973. It has the uncut patterns inside and was a great deal at 25 cents. My favorite project is the two-way pattern for a long dress. Slim sleeved and elegant or sweet and simple. This pattern is for a long sleeved romantic dress, which, with an adaptation to short puff sleeves, becomes a young looking party dress. The short sleeve style could be cut short to mid knee length. A great project is this tatted bookmark, a gentle reminder to keep your place. It can be made wider or longer and would make a beautiful gift for anyone who enjoys reading. I have all the materials needed for this project, and as a big reader, I'm excited to start it so I have a new bookmark for my new book order from Book Outlet. Another great project is this Sunny 2 piece. Choose a firm, crease-resisting cotton seersucker for this holiday two-piece, and you'll have an adaptable, trouble-free addition to your wardrobe, ideal for both the beach and casual parties. Wear the skirt and halter top together, or team the top with plain colored trousers. 
Then there's Simplicity 4108. This Christopher Lowell collection sewing pattern of decorative bolsters and pillows was published in 2006. This pattern was also 25 cents. These pillows are so lovely with all the contrast appliques and covered buttons and cording and beaded trim. The recommended fabrics are 54 to 60 inch or 140 to 153 centimeter wide home decorating fabrics with or without a nap, such as cotton velour, jacquards, sateen, and tapestry silk. The inner rectangular pillow may be made from muslin, broadcloth, or silk. The next item was McCall Stitchery Series Needle Point 4 from spring 1976. This magazine has 42 exciting designs with news and novelty stitching, Bargello with needlepoint, and more creative patterns. It includes easy techniques for designing your own needlepoint. This magazine was 25 cents. The first project that caught my eye was this pillow project. Three plaids pattern a trio of crisp pillows. I love plaid. Work the designs shown here from the charts or adapt your favorite tartan by counting the woven threads and graphing them in the same way. Square pillows have plaid centers effectively set off by fabric frames. The long pillow is piped and backed in green velveteen and measures eight and a half by 13 inches. Use tapestry yarn on the 10 mesh to the inch canvas. Another great project is this white dove with an olive branch, the eternal symbol of peace. It's posed against a radiant star of five blues. The dove is made in three separate pieces to assemble and mount on a star background. Then there's the classic flower in urn that patterns a pretty cushion for a traditional chair. To work up quickly on the five to the inch canvas with Reynolds Tappy's Penguin an acrylic yarn. The design area is about 15 by 14 inches and the size may be altered by reducing or enlarging the background. The final item I bought was 25 cents as well. This is Coates and Clark accessories book number 215 from 1971. I like the multicolored triangular shawl number B859. The shawl measures 58 inches across the long edge and 9 inches at the center back, excluding the fringe. This scarf is made with Coates and Clark Red Heart Knitted Worsted in Apple Green, Atomic Pink, Mid Rose, and Deep Purple. I also like the Knitted Scarf and Hat Set, number B862. The scarf measures eight and three quarters by 70 inches, excluding the fringe. This project is made with Coates and Clark Red Heart Knitted Worsted in Burnt Orange. 10 ounces for the scarf and three ounces for the hat. I love the burnt orange. The hat and mitten set on the back cover is really cute too. This project, Hearts Knitted Mittens and Hat number B868 is made with Coates and Clark Red Heart Wind Tuck 4 Ply Yarn. Five ounces of black and one ounces of each white and jockey red. I hope you enjoyed my Luke and Optimus thrift haul. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell so you receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.